Well, in the last 24 hours, YouTube has purged a whole bunch of channels. They claim it's to try to stop misinformation and disinformation. Most of the channels are conspiracy theorist channels. They claim that they're truther channels. They're part of the truth community. Where they say, oh, we're just uh, questioning reality. Yeah, but they usually have conclusions they come to that can't be proven at all. But, you know, oh, the truth, well, okay, I mean, yeah, you want to get to the truth, but you seldom ever have any answers that are truthful, that are provable. But whatever, you know, just because they could be peddling disinformation and, and misinformation doesn't mean that I think they should be purged. When these channels get purged like that, a lot of the people that follow them, a lot of the people who have heard of them, will start wondering whether or not YouTube just wants to shut down all this, all forms of dissent from the standard narrative. You know, people will say, well, what is YouTube afraid of? What are people afraid of? There's a saying that makes the rounds on the internet, and that is the notion that if you want to know who controls you, and you want to know the truth, then find out what it is that you're not allowed to question. And that's where the truth is, right? When YouTube purges these channels, it gives that notion more credibility, even if it, even if in actuality it doesn't. But to in the minds of those that are that are following this type of content that's being banned, uh, it gives it more credibility in their heads. One of the big problems with if YouTube purges this type of content this much is that people are going to find that content elsewhere in places that are filled with... I mean, it's going to take them down the rabbit hole even more. Those websites are filled with white nationalists, white supremacists, genuine misogynists, homophobes, transphobes, people who are bigoted in those regards. And they're going to become more radicalized, and that's what this accomplishes. You know, we should be able to, to critique these ideas, but the way YouTube is doing this, if you try to critique the ideas their algorithms will think that you're saying those ideas and you could get banned. So they make it so we can't even make videos against these ideas. You know, it's messed. There's probably just as many people being, being censored trying to speak against this stuff, these bullshit ideas, as the people pushing the bullshit ideas. One of the biggest conspiracy theories that's being targeted here is one that I'm not going to say on this video because that's how hard they're, they're pushing against it. Even just the mentioning of its name can get your channel flagged in some way, or at least the video flagged in some way. I'll just say that it's a particular letter of the alphabet. You know, I mean, if you try and do a search for the full name of, of that conspiracy theory, you'll just get pages and pages, I mean pages and pages, of mainstream media talking about it. You're not going to find anyone independent talking about it. I even have this extension that I believe is uh, D-Mainstream YouTube. I think that's the name of the extension that tries to omit mainstream media from search results. Now... You'd have to have a pretty big list. You can continue to add to it, but the the list it already has there just isn't big enough. And so when I search for this particular conspiracy theory that I'm talking about here, even with that extension, it's just pages and pages. I, I never ran across any independents talking about it. Okay, that's how much YouTube wants this purged from their platform. And... Uh, 
Man, it's something I think is really pathetic is Trump yesterday was asked about that conspiracy theory, and he tried to deny even knowing anything about it. Come on, man. He's known about this for a long time. He knows damn well what it means, but he's going to do the Tim Pool. You know how I talked about how Tim Pool tried to pretend not to know what the Great Replacement Theory was? Yeah, Trump is doing the same thing with this. You know, oh, but he's happy. He, he, he knows enough about them that uh, he knows that they support him, so he'll support them. That's how it works with Trump. If you support him, he'll support you. If you don't support him, he'll turn you into the enemy that needs to be squashed. And that's what's happened to political discourse in this country. It's a big part of the reason why everyone is so divided and polarized and tribal. The other part of it is media. You know, media amplifies any of that stuff. But I've went on about that in so many videos, I don't need to go on about it here. I'm just basically trying to say in this video that I think it's a bad move for YouTube to have purged so many of these channels. I think it's a bad move. But that's the way things are right now, and it's probably going to continue to get worse until after the election. But who knows, maybe, you know, if Trump wins, they'll probably uh, up it even more. Who knows? We'll just have to see what happens.